Sign tells a story, conveys a message about a business or a service. But look behind these letters. Get back to the drawing board. Our design process always starts with a pencil. I think that's the real key to um, giving the signs an authentic uh, traditional look. When it's made by a human, it has the unique character of that person. That's David Barnett in the sign studio at Noble Signs along Atlantic Avenue in bed -Stuy, Brooklyn. Of course, their business sign is painted by hand. The Lillian Dress Company sign above the door explains another part of their mission. And then we start to see how that signage was all disappearing and what was left was like lacking in character and also lacking in context. You know, there's something that makes the sign look like it belongs in New York City. They and the staff keep the sign craft going, creating exterior and interior designs one brush stroke at a time. We really view our mission as saving these signs from the dumpster. They also call their workspace the New York Sign Museum. 20 storefront signs and smaller items hang here. The H. Goodman Fur sign still works. That sign for H. Goodman Furs was hanging here on the business storefront, which was along Queens Boulevard and Forest Hills for more than half a century. But things change. Sign of the times. It's a gym now. In February, neighbors wanted to see if they could save it. Too much um, history, architecture, nostalgia, it vanishing from a power landscape. Michael Perlman lives in Forest Hills. He called Noble Signs to find a new home for a piece of the neighborhood. We are trying to uh, look at how some of the older signs were made, figure out which ones you can still make with the technology and the materials and the rules that are around now. They hope to find a more permanent place to display these pieces of history. They hang out here to show a cool sign never goes out of style. In Bedsty, Greg Mocker, Pix11 News.